الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اما بع اهل السنت والجماعة they follow the methodology of the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radhi Allah ta'ala ima ajma'in they follow the minhaj or methodology of the Sahaba in every which way the Ahl Sunnah they adhere to they follow the narrations of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the predecessors, the pious predecessors of the Muhajireen, well, Ansar, internally and externally, meaning they do so with the acts of ibadah or worship in their heart, and they do so with regards to their external limbs. For example, the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ is growing the beard, and it is to help the trousers or the thobe or the, the, the garments that the men are wearing above the ankle. And it is to follow the Prophet ﷺ in every which way externally as much as you are able to do so. And this is in accordance with the statement of the Prophet ﷺ who said, Alaykum bi sunnati وَسُنَّةَ خُلَفَاءَ الرَّاشِدِينَ الْمَهْدِيِينَ مِنْ بَعْدِ تَمَسَّكُوا بِهَا وَعَذُوا عَلَيْهَا بِالنَّوَادِجِ وَإِيَّاكُمْ وَمُحْتَثَرَ الْمُورِ فَإِنَّ كُلَّ بِدْعَةٍ ضَلَالَةٍ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Upon you is my sunnah, and the sunnah of the rightly guided khalifs after me. Be persistent in it and clench to it with your molar teeth. Beware from new affairs because every innovation is misguidance. New affairs referring to new affairs in the religion of Islam. That there's no new, more secularist approach, more democratic approach to Islam, more a communistic or socialistic approach. Islam is a perfect system. It's a complete system which is legislated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of the heavens and the earth. And in, with the, in the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that's our, our judge. That's how we judge and that's how we arbitrate our disputes. That's how we go forward as a society. It's based on kitab wa sunnah and the understanding of the salaf al-saleh. Ridwan Allah alayhi. And the rightly guided khalifat, as was mentioned in this hadith, is Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu wa Umar رضي الله تعالى عنه وعثمان رضي الله تعالى عنه وعلي رضي الله تعالى عنه and may Allah be pleased with all the companions of Rasul صلى الله عليه وسلم رضي الله تعالى عنه مجمعين that's أهل السنة's منهج and أهل السنة والجماعة they command the good and they fear the evil as the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in an authentic hadith as collected in Sahih Muslim the hadith of Abi Sa'id al-Khudri radiyallahu ta'ala anhu said, Sami'atu Rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ayyakul, Min ra'a minkum munkarin fil yugayruhu biyad, fa in lam yastati' fa bi lisanihi, fa in lam yastati' fa bi qalbihi, wa thalika adaf al-iman, ruahu muslim. In the hadith of Abi Sa'id al-Khudri radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, which affirms for us what another important qa'idah, or principle of Ahl Sunnah is that they command the good and forbid the evil. As Allah has mentioned in the Quran, they command the good. Kuntum khayrun umma, ukhrijat li nas, ta'maruna bil ma'roof wa tanhona na munkar. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, that you, you are the best of nations, commanding the good and forbidding the evil. And in that hadith, the Prophet sallallahu showed us the different levels of commanding the good and forbidding the evil. He said, whoever amongst you sees a munkar, sees some evil, then change it with his hand. If he's unable to do so, then with his tongue, meaning speak out against it. If he's unable to do so, then with his heart, and that's the weakest form of faith. That shows us that Iman has different levels. That shows us that Iman, faith in Islam, 
can consist of statements on the tongue, actions on the limbs, and deeds of the heart. Your intention, your iman is in your heart, and it's on your limbs, and it's on your tongue. This is the Muslim belief. This is in accordance with ahadith of the Prophet ﷺ. Many uh, texts from the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ show us that iman is not just simply in the heart. So we can't be like those individuals who say, hey, don't judge me, you don't know what's in my heart. You're right, I don't know what's in your heart. But we see on the outward appearance that you're not practicing, you're not praying, you're drinking alcohol, you're uh, committing adultery, you are not wearing hijab. All of these things are outward aspects. They show that there's something, there's a sickness in the heart. They show that there's some aspect of disease that's corroding the heart and spreading. So Ahl Sunnah, they command the good and they forbid the evil in accordance with those levels. The highest levels, if you can change it with your hand, if you're able to do so without causing a greater harm and spreading more evil. And if you're unable to do so, as the Prophet ﷺ said, then with your tongue, then speaking out against it. Say, hey, that's, that's not correct. Sister, you know, you should strive to uh, wear hijab. You know, whatever. However, it could be through good, kind words to encourage uh, the sister to practice or the brother to practice or your family member to practice, whatever the situation is. And if you're unable to do that for whatever reason, that there's a greater harm Islamic harm, not based upon your desires that you think, oh, I'm shy about it. No, but that you feel that there's going to be harm or a greater harm or a greater spread of evil by doing so, then then you do it with your heart, meaning you dislike the sin. You should not be a person and say, wow, look at that. I, you know, I'm enjoying the evil that I'm seeing. وَعِيَادَ مِلَّا مِنْ ذَلَكَ These are the characteristics and traits of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. That they have the traits of commanding the good and forbidding the evil and brotherhood and loving the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and knowing who Allah is and worshiping Him properly in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil Wa Sallallahu Wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam